forest divers, Indonesia offers some of the best diving in the world. From well-known hotspots like Rajampat, Komodo, Olambe, to hidden gems like Halmaera. Alors, Orambon. When your head is permanently underwater, it is very difficult to stop, even just for a few days. When I am on a diving trip, I am always scared to miss a dive because I'm sure that it will be the dive. You know, the one with a whale shark passing by or the one with a very rare critter encounter. This one. But Indonesia offers so much to see above the surface that it might worth few days of diving. But only some amazing experience could convince some scuba junkies like us to stop diving. And trust me, it was crazy. After our leave aboard in Halmaera, we decided to spend a few days on Saung Island at Blue Bay Divers Resort. We love this place. Simple and friendly, we always felt at home. And after 12 days of diving non-stop, we really needed a break. So we decided to do a day trip to the Tankoko Nature Reserve. This fauna and flora conservation area is situated in North Sulawesi, a two hours drive from Manado. This area of 8,700 hectares is a sanctuary for many species of mammals, birds, and reptiles. The most famous ones are the endemic crested black macaque, the spectral tarsier, and the beer couscous. The day trip to Tankoku was arranged by Blue Bay Divers and include the transfer by speedboat, the guide, and the lunchbox. Once in the park, we met Reni and her daughter, our guides. Reni is one of the most experienced guides in the Tankoku Nature Reserve and one of the only female. Few tips if you plan to visit the Tankoko Nature Reserve. First, wear light and breathable clothes with long sleeve to prevent scratches and insect bite. Second, don't forget your insect repellent. We did, and it was not fun. Third, you avoid whites and red. Apparently, they tend to attract insects. You can carry your binocular or borrow them from your guide, is what we did. Don't forget to go slowly and quietly, by small group, no more than five people. You have to be patient. Sometimes you just have to sit around and wait for the wildlife to show up. It's better to go early or late, depends what you want to see. For example, the tarsiers are nocturnal and they are more likely to be seen by night. But guess what? We saw them by day! We started the trip with two objectives. The crested black macaque and the tarsier. And just after five minutes of research, they were there! A big family of yakis, the local name for the celibus crested macaque or crested black macaque. These monkeys are endemic of North Sulawesi. Highly social, they live in big groups, up to 100 individuals. Mostly females, led by a dominant male. They have a very distinctive crest of black hair, 
at the top of their head and a long, flat, airless muzzle with eye cheek. This one, for example, is a male. How do I know that? His derriere is a bit smaller and less pink than a female's one. Their tail is so short that they have been sometimes misidentified as ape. The crested black macaque are active during the day and spend most of their time looking for food or grooming each other. Female gave birth to one single baby after 5.8 months. The baby will be nursed by his or her mother during a year and will reach sexual maturity after four or six years. Young males have to leave the group and can be found solitary, while female stays in the group and form a very high hierarchic society. Crested macaques are critically endangered, threatened by hunting and habitat loss. According to our guide, it seems that the COVID-19 had a positive effect on this fragile population. Indeed, after being out of the reserve during few months, they noticed more babies than usual, which is a good sign. But conservation effort must continue to protect them from extinction. We left the macaque family and followed our guide deeper in the forest. We were looking for the second star of the Tankoko Nature Reserve, the spectral Parsi. We didn't know what to expect when suddenly, at the very top of a tree, we had a glimpse of a bio couscous. This living teddy bear is a marsupial endemic to Sulawesi. They are active during the day. I mean, not really active, as they move slow and rest a lot. We spent hours and hours looking for the smallest primate in the world. But Reni didn't give up. And finally... Here it was! When we left Tonkoku, we couldn't be more happy of our decision to stop diving, at least during a day. It's almost holidays time, and next week we are going to share with you our best holidays memory. Last Christmas, we went diving in Rajampat and Nils put up the best gift ever. Would you like to know what that was? Stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.